So what's going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome to my ultimate staff tutorial showing you how to build every single staff. There are timestamps in the description to take you over to specific staffs if you're looking for them. I know a lot of people are having trouble building the fire one, so be sure to check the description to find out the timestamps of each staff. And I would really, really appreciate if you guys could smash the like ratings on this video as it took a really long time to make this video as I had to go and build each staff myself and let my team just sit there while I've done everything. So for this wind one, you just want to follow the pattern in which I shoot and what the actual pattern looks like once it's finished. If you copy that, then this will be very, very easy for you. Once you've done that and you've solved that puzzle, you want to teleport back to the main map of Origins and there's going to be these smoking pipes and you want to shoot them in this order and take the route I'm taking, otherwise it may not work. This part is a little bit glitchy, but this route will show you all the ways to get these smoking chimneys correctly working using the wind staff. So again, just come along here past the tank and out along the track you will find the smoking chimney shoot that with the wind staff and then make your way over to the stamina up which is right here it's quite a it's it's a it's a, not a very lengthy track at all and once you've done that you'll hear the noise that you've done that process right and then what you want to do then is go back to the pack a punch area and go underground and there'll be a floating orb which correlates to the color of the element that you have so here we have wind so you want to shoot that orb so it glows and then what you want to do is use the levers so that all these like blue kind of ores match up with the side that the orb is floating and once you've done that the orb will be sucked up and then you can place your stuff in the crazy place and that will be the last step you need to do before you can get your stuff ultimate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next stuff which is my personal favorite the ice stuff. Now in this chamber here there is a puzzle and what I'm going to do on screen so I'm going to show you a hand drawn picture of what each of these symbols mean now there'll be this blue slab that you can see here which will show a symbol it's basically a number the numbers that are white the dots that are white are twos and the ones without num without a color in are ones so you just want to link up the symbols that are shown on there with the symbols that i've drawn on the handwritten picture there it shouldn't be too difficult and i hope that i haven't forgotten any symbols but if i have in this missed chance that i have missed a symbol then the symbol that is not on the handwritten drawing is obviously the one which you'll need to shoot but it's pretty straightforward and i hope that this image is useful for you After you've done that completed, there will be three gravestones which will have appeared in the map, so just follow where I am to, lo to find the locations of them. So what you want to do is you want to shoot them with your ice staff, and then once they're frozen over, you want to shoot them with any weapon that is not the ice staff, so any weapon at all, and that will destroy them. And you need to do that for these three gravestones around the map, and I'll show you all the locations of those. Once you've done that, you will hear the sound that you usually hear when you've done uh, a step right, and we'll move on to the next bit. Once you've done that, head back to the Pack-a-Punch area, go down below and do the same thing again. Shoot the orb and then line it up with all the other levers and that orb will suck up. 
and then that's the ice staff ready to get the ultimate staff upgrade now let's move on to the next one which is the lightning one now on the screen i've included what these actually mean they're musical notes first is ace egb and fad if you guys are good with music and you know where they are on a keyboard then this will be really easy for you but take a look at that screenshot pause it if you're in game and you know you're trying this out right now now this is a musical keyboard and there are all the notes so you want to input those notes that i showed you so egb you'd shoot those then CEG, then FAD. You shoot all those and you'll get this right. Once you've done that, head back up to the map and you'll find these flicking, flickering switches. Now, I'm not sure if they are in this order that I've shown in the video, but go around the map and look for any switches that are flickering. All the locations are in this video. If it's flickering, then switch it off and then a uh, next one will flicker. So you need to start finding switches that flicker. And then once you've stopped that one from flickering, then another will flicker in a different location. And you know when you've done all of these because you'll hear that sound. Once that's occurred, go back to the Pack-a-Punch area and that's right, shoot the orb with your staff and then line all the weird blue uh, chunks up with that and then it will suck up and there you go, that will be the last part of getting that one done. So now we're going to move over onto the hardest one to explain, which is the Fire Star. Now with this fire stuff, you want to head down into the crazy place and stand by these four cauldrons and get kills with the fire staff and once you've done that you can check your progress by looking back at the cauldrons and seeing if they're flaming or not and when you've done all of that you of course you'll hear the noise from Samantha you know you'll hear that weird noise to show that the progress has been made and then we'll move on to the hardest part to describe but it shouldn't be too difficult so again you hear that noise that means that's done and then you want to head back up to the map and go over to the church now on the church walls here are these weird symbols and these are going to differ every time now you see here it starts with a, a order of one and then two so looking at this ternary number system if you have one and two that equals to the number five if you look over on this wall we have two and then one two and one adds up to seven and then when we look on this next one we have one like like fire and then the other are just black dots so that means one zero zero which is nine and below the church is these flaming torches with numbers next to them and you need to light them in the correct order or the correct numbers or you won't get this part to work so as you can see there two and a one that will equal a seven and then when we go into the last one one and then a zero so that must equal a nine so then what you do is head back down and you have to light these up now make sure that once you've done this you light up the blood lantern which is there as well so trying out the order that we got in this video we have five seven nine and then shooting the blood there we go, we have that done. And then once you've done that, you want to make your way back over to the Pack-a-Punch. Go down below. There'll be that orb waiting for you to shoot with your Staff of Fire. Go ahead and shoot that. And then line up all the weird blue things so that it will suck it up. And then once you've done that, you've completed all of those. Head back down to the crazy place. And you should see all your staffs. Well, you can place all your staffs in the section around the big, large blue pad. You'll see it in a second. You place all of your staffs in there and then what you want to do is you just want to get kills and the souls of them will suck into the actual staff holders and then once that happens uh, you'll see an icon come up saying staff parts and it will let you actually pick your staff up and there you will have the ultimate staffs. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like rating if you haven't already. Subscribe for more Origin videos and that Easter egg and I will see you guys very soon.